China has been struggling with a persistent slowdown in economic growth after the COVID outbreak. As the nation's post-pandemic resurgence stumbles, youth unemployment has reached an unprecedented peak. Earlier reports said unemployment among Chinese individuals aged 16 to 24 surged to 21.3% in June of this year, but now sample this. China's officially reported youth unemployment rate of 21% might significantly surpass 46.5% owing to fictitious employment and around 16 million individuals adopting a lying flat approach. Before we go any further, let's understand what is lying flat approach. It's a Chinese slang term that describes a personal rejection of societal pressures to overwork and overachieve such as in the 996 working hour system which is often regarded as a rat race with ever diminishing returns. This means a sizable chunk has relinquished the idea of moving within the workspace altogether. Faced with a challenging dilemma, government policymakers are now turning to educational institutions for assistance in addressing the issue. The effectiveness of school administrators has long been linked to the percentage of their graduates who secure employment. However, this scrutiny has escalated, prompting senior school officials to proactively engage with companies to discover job opportunities. Such heightened pressure has even led some students to fabricate job offers. to appease school authorities and this is where the numbers change this year's projected graduating class of 11.6 million students is poised to be the largest on record with subsequent classes expected to be even larger over the past 4 years china's youth unemployment rate has doubled a consequence of economic instability resulting from beijing's zero covid measures which left businesses cautious about hiring Now, as far as the economy goes, it expanded by 6.3% in the April of June months from a low base a year ago, but was below the expectations. So, the faltering in China's economy calls for a desperate need to announce financial stimulus bigger than interest cuts announced by the central bank in China.